Welcome to probability video 6.1, uh, combinations and coin tosses for this example. All right, so here's example one. So you toss a coin 10 times, all right? And then we wanna answer all these questions related to that. Uh, first, A, what are the number of total possible outcomes? All right, we're gonna go back to the multiplication rule. Event one can be heads or tails, there's two ways of doing that event. Event two could be heads or tails, two ways of doing that event. And so on and so on and so on. So I'll just keep multiplying by two. Uh, a shorthand notation would be two to the tenth. Um, so equals two to the tenth, and you could use your fingers or your calculator, and you get 1,024. Okay, so there's 1,024 possible different ways uh, to have outcomes. All right, part B. Now, again, we're tossing the coin 10 times. We want to know how many outcomes have exactly five heads. So they could be five you know, in the row, it could be heads, tails, heads, tails, etc. So basically, out of these 10 slots, choose five of them to have heads. Oh, 10 choose five. So it would simply be 10 choose five. And if you punch it out, you get 252. Okay. Part C, at least eight heads. So I underlined some of the important words here. So at least eight heads means we could have eight heads or nine heads or 10 heads. All right, so I'm gonna use this same principle over here. Well, to get exactly eight heads would be eight choose, I'm sorry, 10 choose eight. Or means to add plus, plus over here, 10 choose nine. Or means plus over here, 10 choose 10. And if you compute that, that's really a 45 plus a 10 plus a one and we got 56 as our answer. Okay, D, this one's gonna be a recurring theme, all probability unit, at least one. So whenever we say at least one of an object, uh, what we can do is draw a little set here. Again, uh, we've done this before. I've got the total number of ways uh, was two to the 10th equals 1,024. And I can split it up into two partitions, uh, the ways with no heads or the ways with at least one head. Again, either you're gonna have at least one of something or none of something. Either it's gonna rain at least a little bit or not at all. Okay, so it's easy for me to find this part, so I'll use subtraction like we did before. So at least, one heads is the same as the total minus no heads. Okay, so at least one heads equals a total 1,024 minus no heads. No heads would be out of the 10 slots, choose zero. And of course, you should know there's only one way for that to happen to have everything be tails. So it's gonna be 1,024 minus one equals 1,023. And that's the answer for part D. Part E, uh, kind of similar to this, except now we've got at least three heads. Okay, so for at least three heads, I could add up like I did over here, three or four or five or six or seven or eight or nine or 10. I could have done that over here, one or two, but that list is a little bit longer. So depending on which side of the um, midpoint I'm on, the mid, like about five heads, I decide to use this technique or not. All right, so what I'm gonna do is say, if I got at least three heads, if I don't have at least three heads, I've got zero, one or two. So I'll say at least three heads, I'll erase this to give myself some more room, 
equals total minus, now in this case, instead of no heads, um, it's going to be zero heads or one heads or two heads. Zero heads plus one heads plus two heads. Okay, still fewer computations doing it this way as opposed to adding them all up. All right, so that's going to equal 1,024 minus 10 choose 0 plus 10 choose 1 plus 10 choose 2. All right, so it's going to be 1,024 minus 1 plus 10 plus, I've got it over here, 45. And if you compute that, you get 968. Um, we'll just put it right here. And that's the answer to part B. Okay, uh, last one. At most one heads. Okay, well at most one heads means one heads or fewer. Don't forget, there's always the possibility of zero. So at most one heads is the same as zero heads plus one heads. All right, so again, just um, for zero heads, out of the 10, choose zero to be heads. For the one heads, out of the 10, choose one to be heads. So that's going to be um, one plus 10, and that would be 11. And again, with combinations, there's symmetry. Uh, as we learned in Pascal's Triangle, so feel free to use whatever technique you want. So there you have it, how to use combinations in conjunction with coin tosses.